How you doing guys? Big Mac School here again today, back once again with another episode of Warhammer 40k. And today I've got a summary of all the projects I was trying to get done in December. How did they get on? You'll find out soon enough. So, December. December, December, December. How did I get on in December? Well, what do we know already? We know that I've got the Harry Potter miniatures game painted in time for Christmas Eve and uh, gave it to my friend for Christmas, which is fantastic. Great achievement, if I do say so myself. And then after that, what else? Um, uh, um, it was a Conquest Minis, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a Conquest, the Conquest Minis. Didn't get them done. And uh, what was the other thing? It was the Gorkonaut Morkonaut Stomper. Didn't get that done either. I had a massively, as I'm sure most people do, busy Christmas period. From the 24th of December, when I saw my friend, gave her the present, and then Christmas Day, I was at my mum and dad's house, Boxing Day, at my mum and dad's house, and both nights I stayed at my sister's house, and then the 27th, we were, me and my sister were meeting some friends in town, and I was supposed to be staying at her house again, but then we ended up staying at a friend's house, but my car was at my sister's house. I know my car was at my parents' house actually, because I left it there from Boxing Day, driving me and my sister there. My stuff was still at my sister's house, so I was like bum 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 all over the place before we got home. And then I think I had a day to myself, but I just felt like I needed to sleep because I was that tired, <laughs> so I just slept. And then I was going to, before I knew it, I was going to Derby for New Year's Eve. Um, I had a good night down there though. Got some hobby done, even though it wasn't building paints inside of the hobby. It was a game inside of the hobby. I uh, just had a game of zombie side and also played on the Switch a fair bit with uh, my son and his lad. My son and his lad. My lad and his son. My lad and his son. My mate and his son. Why can't I say that? Um, yeah, so we got to do that and then um, uh, stayed there for lunch on New Year's Day, which was lovely. And then came back up. Before I know it, it's my birthday. Doing birthday things. And I'm back in work. Well, I was back in work before my birthday, actually. Um, <clears throat> so, basically, I've not had the time, other than um, I've, I've had the little bits of spare time I've had, I've been using to try and make videos. Um, so, the Conquest video that went up this week, and uh, the Harry Potter video you'll notice went up on Friday instead of Wednesday. That's just because my uh, schedule, if you can call it that, is, you know, it's rarely planned out. But my schedule has just been so crammed full of activities, seeing people, stuff like that. I've just not had a chance to finish the projects I wanted to get done. I was hoping to get, basically, that I was, I was thinking I could get the Conquest Minis finished in the day. And then evenings and stuff, squeeze in the Gorkonaut, Morkonaut, Stomper. Because that's the kind of thing where if I run into a problem, I, I need to put it down for a bit and just think through the problem. And even just when I'm not thinking about the hobby, the problem will solve itself in my mind kind of thing. So anyway, uh, that project gets extended into January, till the end of January, um, which means that I'm not starting on Nick's New Year's Painting Challenge. So Nick's New Year's Painting Challenge, I wanted to get the Gorkonaut Morkonaut Stomper done. Now, ideally, what you need to do is start on January the 1st, because he likes to finish his by the end of February. Now that doesn't mean you can't just keep going till the end of the year. Um, I know certain people do, certain channels do. But... For me, I'd want to finish it by the end of February in case I want to take part in the Terrain Square Challenge, uh, which he does every year, which takes place from the start of March. Um, and I like terrain, so I'll probably um, try and build something for that. Although I've got my own bits of terrain to start working on, stuff that I started building during last year's um, Terrain Square Challenge that I need to finish. So... Um, it may be a case that I don't take part in the Train Square Challenge this year, um, but in the month of January, my targets are now um, to finish building and at least undercoat and probably base coat all the miniatures from the Conquest game, including the terrain. Um, I've got one more armor container to come. Is that in that's the week after next? Um, and we've got Lord Feltius coming this week in the Conquest series. Lord Feltius and his Feltius and his cohort. So that's another four minis plus the terrain, which is effectively it's like a vehicle size mini plus a load of little bits of scattered terrain. Um, so it's getting all piled in there. When I started Conquest, I thought it was going to be a nice, simple 
get these miniatures this week, get them painted up before you get next week's miniatures, and get them painted up before you get the following week. But it's of course not proven to be like that. Uh, because I tend to build and record a video about them and then I don't have the time to get them painted. Uh, so what I need to do is have a day dedicated to trying to paint maybe the Death Guard in there and then another day trying to paint the Imperial Fists in there and to so I can catch up each time so at least one day a month I start I need to start putting aside but January is going to be a busy month for me as well because people are still wanting to do birthday things with me uh, so because they've not managed to see me yet um, so the birthday kind of gets spread out over various weekends across the month and um, I think we're going back to back down to Derby which is good for some gaming hopefully and what else? I might get a, I might get a free weekend at the end of the month, who knows? So I might manage to get some Conquest Minis done. But the main focus is in the evenings, I think. The main focus is going to be the Gorkonaut Morkonaut Stomper. Because um, I really do need to try and get that done so I can start painting it at the start of February for next New Year Painting Challenge. That's basically a summary of uh, my December and then it's dragged out into January now. So by the end of January I've only got two things left to do. <laughs> which is a bonus, surely because um, I've done the Harry Potter ones but one of the things is going to be increasing it's the Conquest thing and then the Morkanor so what are you doing this month what, what do you want to try and do this month are you, are you taking part in Nick's New Year Painting Challenge check out Nick's um, New Year Painting Challenge just go to Edit 40k and he's got videos up already explaining what the Painting Challenge is uh, what's he painting this year I'm sh I've watched a video but I can't remember for the life of me what he's painting I think I think it's his um, Slanesh noise marines uh, and I think he's done an unboxing of a another noise marine so I don't know whether he's painting that um, as part of the challenge as well that'll fit right in with his marines as well because he's converted his he's converted some Slanesh marines up using the chaos marine various other kits green stuff tentacle maker stuff like that so make sure you check out um, Nick's videos on Beer 40k I'll pop a link up there and if not I'll pop one in the description down below uh, but Nick doesn't need, any, need me to send him any subscribers because he's already got a billion or something. <laughs> um, but it's always nice to to be made aware of his channel if you're not already made aware if you're not already aware of his channel. You might be following me for Conquest, and then Nick, you may not be following yet. But he's a fantastic uh, 40k channel to be following. He's done since Eighth Edition came out. He's covered a lot of Necron stuff. But he's just moving into one of his other armies now. Uh, it's Tyranids, and for his painting challenge, he's painting up some Marines, some Slanesh Marines, so Chaos Marines, but Marines nonetheless. Um, so definitely check out his channel. That's about all I've got for you. I'm not adding anything to my uh, painting goals for the month or building up painting goals for the month. So uh, I'll leave it with you. I'll leave that there. Sorry. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the battlefield.